all of you can give your attendance in the chat box i repeat those who have joined the class can give your attendance in the chat box so far only 28 people have joined i will wait for one or two minutes more and then we will start the class by that time what you can do is you can give your attendance in the chat box Okay, it is eleven thirty-six a.m. Let us start the class. Give me a minute so that I can present my screen. Can anyone confirm me whether my slides are visible or not? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So, before starting today's class, let me let me give you a brief recap of what we have covered in the previous class. in the previous class we have uh, started the last part of this module that is moment of a force in the last class we have defined what is moment of a force moment is what moment is nothing but the rotational or the turning effect produced by a force is moment mathematically we have seen that uh, moment is nothing but it is the product of force into perpendicular distance from the point of application of the force we have also seen that moment can be either clockwise in nature or it can be anti clockwise in nature if you are taking that means if i talk about sign conventions then if you are taking clockwise moment to be positive you have to take anti clockwise moment to be negative throughout the problem then we discussed this important theorem called the theorem of varigon what this theorem tells us the theorem tells us that the moment of a resultant force passing through a point is nothing but equal to the summation of the moment of its component in this figure f is the resultant force of f1 and f2 fine and if we if we are taking moment of this force f about point o and this d d1 and d2 are what these are perpendicular distance then according to this theorem moment of the resultant force that is f into d about o will be equal to summation of moment of it its component of force that means f1 into d1 at o plus f2 into d2 at o this we have derived in the last class also we have uh, solved one problem related to moment i hope in the last class we have discussed till this problem if anyone can respond Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. So in today's class, 
we will be solving some more complicated problems related to moments fine so let us solve the second problem related to this moment what is the problem the problem is a square block a square block of wood of mass m is hinged at a and rests on a roller at b a b c d is a square block this block is hinged at point a and point b is kept on a roller support the block is pulled by means of a string attached at d and inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal that means this square block abcd is pulled by a string which is kept at point d and the direction of pulling is at an angle of 30 degree with respect to the horizontal determine the force p which should be applied to the string that means with which with what force p you should pull this square block such that the block gets lifted up from the roller you need to find out that value of force p such that after pulling or once you pull this entire block will get lifted up from this roller b and since it is the block is square inside and each side of square is a is the question clear to you yes sir fine yes, sir. Okay. okay just wait somebody is joining okay so the very first step is what very first step is to draw the free body diagram so can you tell me in this question on which object i will be drawing the free body diagram at the square yes the square block on square block i will be drawing the free body diagram let us draw so if the square is of side a and weight of the block is acting from its center of gravity mg then definitely this distance this particular distance this distance will be a by 2 and this distance will be a by 2 yes or no hello yes sir yes sir fine okay so let us draw the free body diagram of the square block so first let us draw a square first square block a b c d if this is point a this is b c and d in the question it has been told that the square block is hinged at a by that line what i mean by that line what i mean the square block is hinged at point a by this line what the you... corner is uh, attached to, to the point a i mean that a is stationary that a point will not move that means you can say that the entire square block will rotate through point a keeping point a fixed yes, yes or sir, no yes, yes. that yes, is the sir. meaning of uh, hinge that is the meaning of hinge fine so that means that means the entire square block has a tendency of rotation due to this applied force p about point a that means i can take moment of all the forces and i can equate it equal to zero at point a yes or no yes sir fine since it is a hinge and due to this force p it is very much clear that this block can rotate about this fixed point a that means i can take a moment 
uh, i will take the moment summation of all moment summation of this force p uh, means moment of this force p moment of this force mg moment of this roller about a then i can easily find out the value of this force p but before taking that moment first let us draw the free body diagram so the diagram will be somewhat like this from point d a string is attached so this is the string which is and the force acting on the string is p and the angle which the string is making with respect to the horizontal is 30 degree since point b is attached to a roller so this roller will exert an equal and opposite reaction on this square block in upward direction that means this is your rb yes or no hello is it clear yes sir yes, really. <laughs> fine since point a is hinge point that means the entire body can rotate about point a and uh, this uh, square is having its own weight which is acting from the center of gravity that is mg if i talk in terms of newton then i have to multiply acceleration due to gravity and if you talk in terms of mass you can only take the mass of the square plate fine so what i can do is i can join these two extreme diagonal line then i know that due to this hinge this will be the reaction r a acting through point a hinge will give an equal and opposite reaction to the square plate along this line of action yes or no hello yes sir yes fine so this is the complete free body diagram of this particular block clear now the value of this rb value of this rb will be equal to 0 why because in the question it has been told to you that you need to find that minimum value of p such that the touch of this square from roller such that there will be no touch between the roller and the square that means once you apply this force p this square will try to will try to move over this roller without being touched if that is the case then rb will be equal to zero yes or no yes sir yes because in the question it has been clearly told that you need to find that value of p see it is written determine the force p which should be applied to the string to just lift the block of the roller by this line to just lift the block of the roller means there will be no touch between the square block and this roller if that is the case rb is always equal to zero if rb is equal to zero that means there will be no reaction force in the free body diagram this was the observed free body diagram now the correct free body diagram will be this force mg this force p passing through point d and this reaction force ra at, uh, along this line of action passing through point a is it clear any doubt no sir no. fine so and since it is very much clear that the entire body can rotate through point a so let us take moment of summation of all the because we know that the equation of equilibrium is summation fx equal to zero summation fy equal to zero summation fz equal to zero and summation of moment at any particular point is zero for this question that particular point is point a so i can write summation of moment at point a is equal to zero that means this 
mg that means either you will take clockwise moment as positive then you have to take anti clockwise negative or if you are taking anti clockwise positive you have to take clockwise negative in order to keep the body in equilibrium so if i take moment about point a for this force mg then moment will be force that means moment will be this force mg into perpendicular distance from the line of action of force and because you see this angle is 90 degree so it will be mg into a by 2 correct yes sir fine so mg into a by 2 at point a is making a clockwise moment or an anti clockwise moment mg into a by 2 at point a is making a clockwise moment or anti clockwise moment Uh, anti anti clockwise because yeah, if, you fix, if you fix point a and if you apply force mg along this direction keeping point a fix the body will move in this direction will rotate in this direction yes or no that means anti clockwise moment here i have taken anti clockwise moment positive that means throughout the problem i will take anti clockwise positive and throughout the problem i have to take clockwise moment negative fine okay so since rb is zero so rb into this distance i will not take as a moment at point a fine so next force will be this force p into perpendicular distance so force p into perpendicular distance from the point of application that is the point of application is a for that what i am doing is i am making a small construction in the free body diagram that construction is say this is that perpendicular distance This, that means this angle is 90 degree that is this angle this is the perpendicular distance am is the perpendicular distance then the moment of this force p about hinge point a will be p into perpendicular distance from the point of application point of application is a perpendicular distance is am and if you see this force p into am will try to rotate the body in clockwise direction so i will take it as negative because i have already taken anti clockwise moment positive so it will be minus p into am equal to 0 any other force is not there so mg into a by 2 minus p into am is equal to 0 equation number 1 is it clear equation number 1 any doubt in equation number 1 no sir uh, anyone from electrical if you can respond whether it is clear or not anyone from electrical if you can respond whether everything is clear or not yes sir yes sir oh. okay fine so this is my equation number 1 now in this equation number 1 i can only find the value of p if i know the value of am so how we can find out the value of am for that if i consider triangle amd if i consider triangle amd find am is perpendicular ad is hypotenuse and md is base i can write sin theta sin theta means this is theta in this triangle this is theta theta will be 30 plus 45 that is 75 so sin 75 is equal to perpendicular perpendicular is am divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse is ad so sin 75 is equal to am by ad or am is ad sin 75 so in place of am i will substitute ad sin 75 so the resulting equation number 1 becomes mg into a by 2 minus p into ad sin 75 equal to 0 equation number 2 
इज इट क्लियर एनी डाउट टिल इक्वेशन नंबर टू नो सर नो डाउट ओके नाउ अगेन इफ यू सी इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू ए डी इज अनोन इफ ए डी इज अनोन आई कैनॉट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी so somehow i have to find the value of ad for that what can i do again you consider the same triangle you know uh, for, uh, in order to find out the value of ad that is uh, this ad so this time what you do is that you consider this triangle acd this particular triangle triangle acd in this ad is hypotenuse cd is base and ca is perpendicular so i can write ad square is equal to cd square plus ca square ad square is equal to cd square plus ac square fine i want ad so ad is equal to under root of cd square plus ac square what is cd cd is nothing but side of the square a what is ac ac is nothing but side of the square a so the equation becomes under root of a square plus a square that is 2 times of a2 square so ad is equal to under root 2 into a under root 2 of a is it clear this is the value of ad any doubt no sir no doubt fine so now i can substitute the value of ad in equation number 2 Fine, and I will get the value of p. So let us substitute. That is m g into a by two minus p into a d. A d is root two a, root two a into sine seventy five. So if you solve this expression, you will get the value of p to be point three six six times of m g. So this much is the minimum pull that. A person will apply at point D through a string. such that there will not be any contact between this roller b between this roller and this uh, uh, vertex point b of the square is the problem clear any doubt in this problem any doubt in the problem no sir no doubt okay fine <clears throat> let us solve the next problem third problem little bit more trickier than the first and the second one the third problem is a weightless bar ab this is a bar ab is placed in horizontal position from the diagram it is very much clear that the bar ab is in horizontal position on smooth incline as shown in the figure that means the end a of the bar is placed on a 30 degree inclined plane and end b of the bar is placed on an 45 degree inclined plane calculate the distance x this distance x you need to calculate at which the 100 newton load b placed from end point b so that the bar remains horizontal that means on this bar two forces are acting one is 200 newton which is at a distance of 1.25 meter from end a another one is 100 newton which is at a distance of x meter from end b so how much that x meter is that means at how much distance you have to place 100 newton load vertically downward from end b so that the entire bar ab remains horizontal this is the problem you need to find out the value of x is the problem clear any doubt in understanding the problem no sir no doubt okay okay sir. anyone from the electrical department if you can respond whether the question is clear or not yes sir clear okay again the first step is drawing of free body diagram 
from the diagram it is very much clear that the object in this figure is the horizontal bar ab on which i have to represent each and every force so can anyone tell me that already two forces are present in the bar that is 200 newton and 100 newton at a distance of 1.25 meter from end a and at a distance of x meter from end b what all additional reaction forces will come on this horizontal bar ab sir two uh, two reaction forces will come on this bar uh, what are those two reaction forces and from where they will act sir yes, uh, reaction force will act on uh, point a and another on point b that means uh since the bar is kept on inclined plane a at end point a so the inclined plane will exert one reaction at point a another reaction will be another reaction will be exerted by this bar ab at point b due to this inclined plane 45 degree at point b yes or no fine so that reaction will be this will be ra angle will be 90 degree always by newton's third law of motion and uh, this will be rv again this angle on which the reaction force is acting it is 90 degree by newton's third law of motion is it clear this is the complete fbd of this bar ab 200 and 100 newton load is already present only we have to add this additional ra and rb is it clear by after removing these two inclined planes any doubt so far no sir no doubt fine this is the diagram see ra this angle it is making with inclined plane is 90 degree and rb the angle which it is making with the 45 degree inclined plane is again 90 degree fine so what i need i need to get the value of x how i can find out i have to use the equations of equilibrium because in this problem neither uh, all the forces are not passing through a common point fine that means it is a non concurrent force system as well as there are more than three forces i cannot use lenz theorem also so which equation i can use i can use the equations of equilibrium which is which is summation of all force along x axis 0 summation of all force along y axis 0 since it is a 2d body so summation of z we have ignored and summation of moment of all force about any point is equal to 0 is it clear any doubt so far yes sir clear okay now if uh, my main goal is to find the value of x but if you use these equations you will get if you use equation summation f uh, fx equal to 0 you will get one equation if you use summation fy equal to 0 second equation if you use summation moment equal to 0 you will get the third uh, equation fine but the thing is that in this uh, problem ra is unknown rb is unknown and x is also unknown so before finding out the value of x first of all by somehow i need to find the value of these reaction force ra and rb how i can calculate the reaction force ra and rb in order to calculate the reaction force ra and rb do i need to do something in the free body diagram or simply i can calculate in order to find out the value of ra and rb do i need to do uh, some kind of construction in the free body diagram or simply i can calculate sir so, so we have to divide ra into components and rb into components yes if you see 
RA is acting at particular point at point A in some angle. That means if I consider this to be the y axis and this to be the x axis for point A, this is RA. It is making some angle theta. This theta we have to find out. Similarly, RB is acting at point B again at some angle. So if I extend this RB, this is that RB. Again, it is making some angle uh, theta. If I consider this point B to be this is my x axis and uh, this is my y axis. So first of all, I have to find out the value of this say theta 1 and this is theta 2. I have to find out somehow this values of theta 1 and theta 2. So how I can find out the values of this theta 1 and theta 2? How I can find out the value of theta 1 and theta 2? Then only I can use fx equal to 0, fy equal to 0, summation m equal to 0, then I can get all the three values, ra, rv and x. But the question is how to get the value. Theta, so, one theta 1 will be 90 minus 30. Theta 1? 90 minus 30. How? How? You have to, to tell me how it is happening. See, if I complete this triangle, this particular triangle, fine. If this angle is 30, then definitely this angle is also 30 by geometry. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Electrical people, if you can respond whether it is clear or not, this angle will be 30 by geometry. Yes or no? Anyone from electrical department, if you can respond. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Because, because this is what this particular line, this particular line is nothing but a transversal. You have studied in class 10 geometry. This is a transversal. And this is one uh, parallel line. This is one parallel line. This is again one parallel line. This base of the triangle is again one parallel line. Then by geometry, I know if this is 30 then this angle is also 30 this we have studied in class 10 geometry so if this is 30 this angle is 90 this angle will be how much this angle will be 180 minus of 30 plus 90 that is 60 degree is it clear koi doubt hai isme is it clear Excuse me, Hello. sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, sir, uh, 1990 the particular opposite ho gaya na, sir. Sorry, kya bol rahe ho? Main nahi. Sir, uh, I am talking about the reaction force and the base. It's uh, 90 and opposite is also 90. So there uh, we can get uh, the uh, angle is 30 degree. Sorry, the angle is 60 degrees. There are many ways. There are many ways to find out this particular value of theta 1, theta 2. This is one of the way which I am showing you. This is one of the way. This way I feel easy. You can use any other way, but the geometry should be proper. Is, is, is this way clear? Is my whatever I have shown you, is this step clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. So if this is 60 degree, then theta 1 is also 60. Alternate angles, if this is 60 degree, this theta 1 is also 60 degree. Similarly, towards RB side, if I complete this triangle, if I complete this triangle, fine. This angle is 90, if this is 45 degree, definitely this angle is also 45, yes or no? If this particular angle is 45 degree, then uh, by geometry, this angle is also 45. Yes or yes, no? Sir. Yes, sir. If this is 45, this is 90, this particular angle will be 180 minus 45 plus 90, which is equal to 45 degree. 
which is equal to 45 degree if this angle is 45 degree then definitely theta 2 is also equal to 45 degree alternate angles is it clear hello hello sir uh, sir how yes. it is uh, theta 1 coming 60 degree how theta 1 is 60 degree okay uh, you understand this triangle i have uh, yes, joined sir. this triangle in this triangle see this angle is how much this angle is 30 degree yes sir so uh, assume this line this is a line inclined line this is that inclined line fine hmm. can you see this horizontal line yes sir ab this is one horizontal line this is this base of the triangle is second horizontal line both are parallel to each other that means the line which is cutting these two horizontal line this line is a, a transversal in mathematics we call this line it as a transversal you have studied in class 10th geometry if this angle is 30 degree then by geometry this angle is also 30 degree because yes, this line is inclined at equal angle no yes sir so that's why this angle is 30 if this is 30 this entire angle is 90 then by angle some property this angle will be 180 minus 90 plus 30 60 similarly this side also if this is 45 this angle will be 45 by angle some property this angle will be 180 minus 90 plus 45 which is 45 so if this is 45 This theta two is also forty five. Alternate angles. If this is sixty, theta one is also sixty. Alternate angles. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Okay. So if this is clear, now you can resolve R A and R B. Now you can resolve R A and R B at point A. This is R A. At point A, this is your R A. fine this particular angle is 60 degree that means this is the tail end this is the head end i have to go from tail to head how i will go i can go like this from this point i can go like this and this angle is 60 degree then what will be this component this component will be ra cos 60 and this component will be R A sine sixty. Yes or no? Hello. Yes, sir. Sine. Similarly, at point B, this is the direction of reaction force R B. This is the direction of reaction force R B, and this particular angle I know that is theta two equal to forty five degree. That means this is the tail end, and this is the head end. I have to go from tail to head. How I will go? i will go in negative x direction then from this point i will go vertically upward if this angle is 45 this value will be r a r b cos 45 and this value will be r b sin 45 so if i use summation fx equal to 0 for the entire problem i can write plus r a cos 60 Minus R B cos 45 equal to zero, or R A is equal to R B cos 45 by cos 60. Just solve it. You will get one relation in terms of R A and R B, which is equation number one. Is it clear? Equation number one. Yes, sir. any doubt till equation number 1 hello no sir no doubt okay similarly i can write summation of fy that is summation of all the forces along y direction is also equal to zero for the entire beam in that case it will be plus ra cos 60 sorry plus ra sin 60 this is Plus R A sine sixty, plus R B cos forty five sine forty five plus R B sine forty five minus two hundred acting vertically downward minus hundred equal to zero. 
again you will get one e relation in terms of ra and rb which is equation number 2 is it clear equation number 2 any doubt in equation number 2 hello no sir no sir no okay so you are having two equations you are having two unknowns so solve these two equations you will get the values of unknown reactions ra and rb now you can take the moment at any point either you can take the moment at point a or you can take the moment at point b because already you have found out the unknown reactions ra and rb so let us take moment at point b why i am taking because in the question it has been told that i need to find out the value of x and that x is at a distance at some distance that is x is what x is some distance from end b that 100 newton force is applied so let us take moment about point b so if i take uh, moment wait wait now if i take moment about point b what i can write again you have to decide either you are taking clockwise moment positive or you are taking anti clockwise moment positive fine if i take moment about point b i can write 100 into perpendicular distance about that point and that point is x this is and this is that perpendicular distance 100 into x and this 100 into x is creating this 100 into x is creating an anti clockwise moment so i have taken a negative that means i have taken anti clockwise moment negative minus 100 into x then minus 200 into this this particular distance i have to take moment about point b so this is that perpendicular distance this distance will be how much it will be 5 entire length of the bar is 5 minus 1.25 that means this distance is 3.75 so 200 into 3.75 that is the moment about point b for this force again it will be negative because it is an anti clockwise moment minus 200 into 3.75 till this much it is clear minus 100x minus 200 into 3.75 till this much it is clear this yes, is fine next next is now you tell me will i take the force rb into account in order to find out the value of moment at point b yes or no rb is having two component horizontal component as well as vertical component will i take both the component in order to calculate the moment at point b or will i take any one component or i will not consider rb which option is correct which option is correct yes, that is the video question sir my question is i have taken 100 into x then i have taken 200 into this perpendicular distance which is 5 minus 1.25 that is 3.75 fine next is i have to take the moment of this force ra as well as force rb about point b so let us consider first force rb this rb is having two component one is x component along negative x direction that is rb cos 45 and another one is in positive direction rb sin 45 so will i take both the two component of rb while calculating moment at point b or i will not consider any one of the moment of force rb will i consider the force rb into account in order to calculate the value of moment at b no sir we have to take the uh, perpendicular distance yes so yes yes we, we have, have to take component. the perpendicular distance if this is the case this is your horizontal component of rb 
and this is your vertical component of rb there is no perpendicular distance there is no perpendicular distance and that too the force is passing through that particular point from where you want to calculate the moment so there will be no contribution of moment of force rb but if you take moment about point a then you have to take the rb into account is it clear yes sir electrical people please respond if this step is clear or not because at this particular point you will do mistake that is why i am telling you whether the step is clear or not yes sir okay so i will not yes, consider sir. rb yes any doubt koi doubt hai kisi ko abhi abhi kisi ne kuch bola kuch doubt hai kya no sir no sir okay 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 fine so uh, that means i have to consider the force ra so if i consider force ra again it has two component one is along positive x direction that is ra cos 30 and another one is along positive y direction that is ra sin 60 one is ra cos 60 and another one is ra sin 60 so out of these two component which component moment i will take about point b horizontal component or vertical component or for both component i will take the moment about point b the horizontal horizontal component that means ra cos 60 no wrong if you take this horizontal component where is the perpendicular distance the point you want to calculate moment of this force ra about point b where is the perpendicular distance if you take the horizontal distance and this ra if you see this is the line of action it will pass through point b the same point from sir, where sir, you take the moment so actually we have to take uh, two components ra uh, cos 60 and uh, rb uh, cos 45 RA cos 60. So this is RA cos 60. This is your RA cos 60. If this is RA cos 60, RA cos 60 is force into perpendicular distance from point B. Where is perpendicular distance? Tell me. If you take RA cos 60, this is your RA cos 60. You have to take the perpendicular distance from that particular point where you want to apply moment. I am applying moment at point B. So R A cos 60 into perpendicular distance till point B. Where is the perpendicular distance? There is no perpendicular distance. See, this R A is passing through point B. So how come there will be a perpendicular distance? There is no perpendicular distance present. So I will not take R A. But if you take this horizontal component of R A, but if you take the vertical component of R A, that is R A sin 60. the perpendicular distance is present tell me yes or no is yes, the perpendicular sir. distance present yes sir that distance is ra sin 60 into this distance into this distance see the angle is 90 degree so i can take the moment of the vertical component of force about point b not the horizontal component so remember when there is such kind of situation you have to see which component moment i have to take so now the equation becomes that is ra sin 60 into 5 see uh, minus 100x minus 200 into 3.75 this ra sin 60 into this distance 5 about point b and this is which uh, so from point b this ra sin 60 has a tendency to rotate the body in clockwise direction in clockwise direction fine we have taken anti clockwise negative so i have to take clockwise positive so ra sin 60 into 5 equal to 0 if you solve this expression you will get the value of x and that x is coming out to be 2 meter that means you have to keep this 100 newton force at a distance of 2 meter from end b then only this bar ab will be in horizontal position is it clear any doubt uh, 
Hello. No, no, no. Okay. So remember, such see this R A and R B. Initially, it was some inclined kind of force. By the help of geometry, we convert converted this R A and R B into two components. R A cos 60, R A sine 60, R B cos 45, R B sine 45. Then we consider the moment about point B. So remember one thing every time. Which distance you have to take? You have to take the perpendicular distance of any force, whether that force is horizontal or that force is vertical or that force is inclined. If there is no perpendicular distance present, that component of force will not create moment because moment is what? Moment means the rotational effect or turning effect of a force on a body is moment. So for that, you need perpendicular distance. Then only you can rotate or turn a body, or else you cannot turn a body. So remember these things. So this is the point where you can make a mistake. So that's why I told I have made you clear very well that why I will not take in case of R A this R A cos 60 component, and in case of R B the entire component we will not take because there is no perpendicular distance which. the component of rb is making at point b and the horizontal component of ra is making at point b is the step clear yes sir any doubts koi doubt hai kisi ko no sir no doubt okay so with this we have came to an end of this module in the next class two more problems are left those two are little bit tricky problems those two problems we will solve and we will end up this module in the next to next class we will take the next module of my part that is friction and if you remember that in your official group it has been posted i think that your uh, mid sem one exam will be offline and it will be from 4th or 5th october i guess you all know yes, right? then in my part for my part this this module will come whatever module i am doing it right now this entire module will come for my part okay hello okay sir okay okay fine thank you then again we will meet in the next lecture if anybody is still left to give his or her attendance you can give the attendance or else you can leave the meeting thank you thank you sir hmm, welcome excuse me sir yes wait for just wait for a minute wait wait, wait. just wait for a minute